Hello guys, this is Mohammad Alizia and uh, I came up with the new tutorial that is uh, how to connect to Amazon EC2 or uh, Google Cloud instance without PAM or SSH keys. So first of all, you need to go to uh, aws.amazon.com slash free that will offer you uh, a free account for 12 months and those are the services you will get. Uh, for 12 months and same for uh, Google Cloud you need to go to cloud.google.com and click on the get started for free and sign up with your Gmail account and it, it will also give you uh, a free account uh, having $300 uh, which you can spend on different services so um, uh, let me tell you that uh, Amazon EC2 and Google Cloud instances by default do not allow you to log in without uh, PAM key or the SSH key and that is for the security reasons. Uh, so in the tutorial I will show you how to connect to your EC2 instance or the Google Cloud instance without PAM or SSH keys uh, in case you are on a location or uh, on someone else computer and you want to access your instance uh, and you don't have keys so you would need to log into your instance with the password so for the security point of view um, uh, the PEM keys or the SSH keys are more secure uh, and um, it is recommended to use uh, uh, SSH uh, keys or the PEM keys uh, to access your machines so as I mentioned earlier that if you are on a remote location and you want to access your uh, instance and you don't have uh, PAM or SSH keys you will get into trouble so this tutorial is to enable um, uh, password authentication on your Google Cloud instance or the EC2 instance so it's uh, pretty easy once uh, uh, you sign up uh, for EC2 or um, Google Cloud, AWS or the Google Cloud instance, you need to uh, log in and spin up an instance. It is uh, very easy. Let me show you for the Google Cloud. You need to click on create instance and uh, uh, here you can name it and uh, here you can select that what type of uh, CPUs and memory you want and here you select which uh, operating system you're going to install on your instance and uh, the storage you want and the uh, disk option uh, first is the SSD persistent disk that is very fast and second one is the persistent disk so uh, once you select those uh, you need to enable those options and in the security tab you need to put your SSH keys and just create it so it will create your instance and if you did not put your SSH keys here you will not be able to access your instance from the terminal so let's navigate to EC2 that is uh, let me show the home screen here you need to go to EC2 and uh, here uh, launch instance once you are here you you need to uh, click on free tier only so it can show you the instances uh, for the free tier so you can uh, select any I'll go with the uh, Amazon EC2 instance or the Ubuntu instance whatever you want so let's let's spin up uh, an Ubuntu instance I already have spun up but just to show you that how uh, to spin up an instance so that instance uh, has a one CPU and one GB RAM and it is eligible for the free tier so we'll go to the uh, next configuration uh, that we are going to uh, launch one instance uh, with the default VPC and uh, subnet uh, there are three subnets you can select any and uh, we are not going to attach an elastic IP let's add storage 
uh, storage is uh, the 8 GB and it is general purpose SSD storage. Um, we can set it to 10 GB. If you want to add tags like uh, in the key field, uh, we'll type name and for the value C panel server is the name of the server. So you can create here a security group, a new one uh, in which you can see there is just one uh, port allowed that is 22 for the SSH uh, but I have created an other uh, security group in which I allowed same same thing so you can create a new group uh, security group or if you have created earlier a, a security group you can use this so we are going to use this uh, use this and uh, if all looks okay to you you just need to click on the launch button and you will see that your instance is running in a few minutes so uh, here is the instance so let's navigate to uh, the Ubuntu instance that is residing on uh, AWS uh, for that uh, I have a key I have a key here that I have created uh, which is mandatory to access your instance so let's access the the instance which is residing on AWS. I'll import the keys with the uh, with that option. It will not ask me for the password and it will let me in. So I am in. And for Google Cloud, I am gonna use the instance that I have already created. That is 61.81. So uh, for that I added my SSH keys and it will not ask me for the password and it will let me in. Let's see. Yes, we are in. sudo su. Let me show you which changes I made to uh, disable the SSH function or the PEM key function. Uh, that is same for both nodes. So you just need to um, go to your instance and uh, you need to execute this command we'll execute this and here you need to find permit root logins so let's find it I already changed it uh, before recording this so you can have an overview so that was set to no I just set it to yes and uh, that will fix your issue to log in with the root account but if you see an error and you are not able to access you need to enable uh, password authentication uh, that will also set to yes which you need to sorry that will already set to no and you need to set it to yes so see the password authentication is already set to yes so we are all set we just need to uh, exit this and uh, uh, change the password for the root account for that uh, I already did but just to show you how to change it uh, you need to execute pass WD and the root account and it will ask you twice to put your password and a new password will set now I need to sorry one important step that is uh, once you done the changes you need to restart the service uh, SSHD service so uh, just execute service sshd restart it will uh, take effect the changes you made in the ssh configuration so you can log into your instance without password so we are gonna log out and uh, this time i'm not gonna use my ssh user 
I'll use root account and see if I can log into that machine. So uh, it is asking asking me for the password because uh, we changed the uh, connection uh, to that instance from SSH keys to user uh, with the password. So we are uh, successfully logged into that machine and same uh, I did on that machine sudo su I'll show you vi slash etc ssh sshd config and uh, here we'll find let's say password authentication so it is set uh, permit root logins is also set and uh, password authentication is also set I made those changes uh, before recording this tutorial so I'll exit and same I did for the Ubuntu user. I changed uh, the password of the Ubuntu user by executing pass wd ubuntu and it will ask you twice to give the password and uh, once you change the password, let's change it. You need to restart the SSH config. Same command will be used service sshd restart so it is done uh, I'm gonna log out and this time I am not gonna use pem key and I will try to log in with the Ubuntu user so let's see if we can log in yes that instance is also asking for the password so let me put the password So I am in, uh, guys, you can see that uh, both instances uh, on AWS and Google Cloud, uh, we disabled uh, the functionality uh, of the SSH keys or the PAM keys and enabled password authentication. So now uh, for the new tutorials, uh, please keep checking my uh, tech blog that I created, that is chillguru.blogspot.com. And here I added my YouTube channel link and a few tutorials here you can watch those also uh, keep subscribing so you can get uh, updated videos and tutorials I made for you thank you very much for supporting and seeing my tutorials